again. That's said, a she lot. Said yes for seven, one text she box. said yes 17 times. Hi, 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 hi. There are no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. You have a swan! <laughs> You're wearing a dress! You could hide you could under hide there! You could an entire landmine up there! <laughs> Sir. I love that! It turns. That's, that's it! Hey. You, you could see the argument rendering in his head in real time. <laughs> Hello everybody, KVTV Under the Sun, and welcome back to the first case of the Great Ace Attorney. I'm here with Final also, he's guesting in with us, and uh, for some reason, Host of the Naga is very insistent that we really didn't need to check the bag, her pouch, her purse, or is it the purse? Her handbag. Her yeah. handbag. Host of the Naga might be an idiot. He said it was a handbag. Okay then, well, let's figure out why it was unnecessary. Unnecessary in what way? I'm about to tell you! I ought to thank the student lawyer, really. I have a piece of evidence here that I had completely forgotten about. Did you give it to us? Why? <laughs> this photographic print. Why did you take a picture of this? Oh! Oh, it's a see-through! Oh, well, alright. I see why he wouldn't check it then. <laughs> This print of a photograph that I thought would be prudent to take immediately after the shooting. As you can see, it clearly shows Miss Brett's hand handbag. Well, I never! You can see right, right through to what's inside! That's right. Apparently, meshwork bags like these are the height of fashion in London at the moment. Show all your contents. Get people to steal from you. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe because it's meshwork and you can see what's inside, it prevents people from stealing it. It's like the see-through Game Boys. Oh, dang, I get it now. <laughs> dang, I get it now. Those see-through Game Boys were awesome! I, I think I had one, I think I had a Game Boy Color to see-through one. I, I think I had, uh, yeah, say, same, Game Boy Color. Hmm, so the contents are clearly visible. Exactly. So there was no need to search the lady's handbag. If there had been a gun inside, it would have been immediately obvious. Uh, I mean, okay, he has a point. As you can see, there's nothing to imply Miss Brett's guilt here. Thank you for helping to prove that, Naruhoto-san. They're double head tilts, oh my god. Uh... Wah! Oh my god, he's still flopping on the desk. <laughs> yes. Order! Order! Inspector Hosonaga, you will submit that print as evidence at once. Certainly, Your Excellency. Breaking news! A photograph of a handbag! The photograph taken by Hosanaga-san after an incident occurred. It shows Miss Brett's handbag on a chair by the victim's table. I have a question. Hmm. If they were trying to hide evidence of Miss Brett being there, why would there just be a handbag on a chair? Yeah! Well... And why would he take a picture of it? Maybe... Maybe he took he just it. Just likes taking photos, okay? Maybe he took a picture of it and then took the handbag away. Afterwards. All right. I think you've had long enough to cross-examine the witness, counsel. Stress. <laughs> the court has now been shown considerable evidence. As the photographic print just submitted into the court record appears to have no further significance. I am satisfied that there is no longer any room for doubt in this matter, and I must make my ruling. Indeed. And there is only one logical conclusion. But the pathetic rookie slumped over the bench before us is the only possible perpetrator of this crime. <laughs> no. Just when I thought I was beginning to turn things around. I'm in a worse situation than I was at the start. Oh, sir! Sir! No, not Kazuma not, too! The cool that's Kazuma! That's not comforting. He's down too! That's not, 
That's not comforting at all. No, Sogi, that's bad. Your headband's not fluttering. Um. The power is fading. <laughs> that's how you know it's bad. Um, Cosma. Things are bad if Cool Cosma's down too. I'm sorry, Ryanosuke. Now that the cross-examination of the witness is over, there's no way to force the trial to continue. What? You... you mean... this is it? This is the shortest Ace Attorney <laughs> game. <laughs> I must say, you put up quite a fight for a rookie student. But the weak are meat, and while the strong eat... You are wasting your time. There is no way to defeat true justice. This ain't justice, sir. In fact, you can chew on your heart's content from the inside of your cell. This can't be happening. Am I really going to be found guilty of a crime that I didn't commit? And Kazuma. His dream of going to study in Great Britain will slip through his fingers. Kazuma. Oh, that didn't, that didn't come through. Oh, damn it. It's okay. That's Discord. He's so distraught. Yeah! Is there really... Is there really no chance now of turning the trial around? You heard the judge. There's nothing about that last photograph the detective produced that we can contest. Which means... There's no basis on which we can argue for the trial to continue. So you're saying we need to can look at the picture. Pull up the evidence. I'm, you're saying we need to look at the picture then, right? So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I, there has to be something in this picture. I think that's what it's I trying mean, to tell me. Yeah, can we talk about whatever the heck is on his wrist? Oh, you know, just just a mark. All British people have that. Hmm. I don't think they do. <laughs> Like that's I don't, I don't think that's why she's I don't think gloves. most British she's, she's I don't think most British the mark that she has. If only I don't think most British something. people have the Chicago Bulls sign on on their wrist. <laughs> In Meiji era. Mm -hmm. I'm Meiji telling you, the era, Chicago S Chicago Bulls. Ninety stuff. Chicago Bulls were super popular, guys. Sure, I I and we've I was already a fan. No, I was a fan of Chicago Bulls. And we've Bulls. already established that Ouchie can see into the future with his glasses. <laughs> Therefore. The Chica 90 Chicago Bulls had fans even in turn of the century Japan. Uh, I wasn't quite a fan of them, especially after I watched that film. You shut Jab up. Jab in space. Jab in space. Anyway. That was the height of their popularity, sir. I will not have you besmirch jamming space. I much prefer Waterworld. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I will now proceed immediately to the ruling. This is so much. It seems you'll be able to report to the British government on time after all. Oh my god, you're still thinking about that. That smug lil. Rinosuke Naruhoto, having considered all of the evidence yes. placed before me, I hereby fight- No! <laughs> Wait! Your Excellency! Ryanosuke? I... I don't think you can rule on this case yet. Attention! The amateur assist is getting tedious! When his actually deeds of the trial is over, he gives his ruling! That is the most basic protocol of the courtroom! Yes. I agree! But no! Your Excellency, just a moment ago you said this. As the photographic print just submitted appears to have no further significance, there is no longer any room for doubt in this matter, and I must make my ruling. Now, that means that if there was a problem with the evidence, some significant detail, I mean, then ruling on the case at this time would be out of the question. Attention! The blatant straw connection! Look at this photographic print! But there's still a chance, and I'm gonna take it! And it shows the handbag the gentlewoman was carrying on the day in question. There can be no problem with this evidence. Better know what you're doing, Ryanosuke. Sir, I'm about to get called guilty. I'm going to have to do something. 
I understand your objection, Counsel. Certainly the new evidence submitted by the detective has not undergone the court's scrutiny. However, I fail to see how we can glean any new information from this handbag. My thoughts, exactly! So, fun fact about his fan, the kanji that's on his fan is actually the first kanji that's used for the uh, word justice in Japanese. Oh, okay. I was actually wondering about that, and I keep yep. forgetting to ask you if you knew what that was. Yep. I know this primarily because that kanji is used very consistently with its uh, oh. counterparts in One Piece, in which all of the government officials wear that on their back. Oh! <laughs> I never watched Got One Piece. Well, no, I no, that's that's wrong. I watched up to a point and then I stopped. <laughs> that's fair. So I might be turning into a robot. What? Oh, okay, there we go. You the internet a... stabilized itself. Okay. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I, I heard I might be turning into a robot and perfect like you don't sound like a robot, and I was like, what? <laughs> what robot? <laughs> no, the the this the uh, the video was cutting out for me, and I was not hearing ah. anyone, and it's just like, oh no. All right, we're good. It's fine now. Really? The prosecutor is, the prosecution is becoming tired of this rookie's desperate wheezes. Yes, I am desperate, but this isn't a wheeze. There's something about this photograph which just doesn't seem right. If only I could put my finger on it. Very well. I will grant the defense one final opportunity. There's a lot of final opportunities. Uh, KV, you got cut out by Discord too. Alki's <laughs> just not the straw. Oh no, here comes the gavel. <laughs> but be warned that if I am unsatisfied by your response here, the trial will be over with immediate effect. Sir. King Yama don't play. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Excellency. So, take another look at the photographic print Inspector Osanaga submitted before. You will identify for the court where this print we see, where in this print we see the significant detail to which you have alluded. I like how he said it'll be over immediately, and yet we have five chances. I know, right? <laughs> yes! Look at this here. There's a very unusual mark on the victim's wrist. That is true. It looks almost like a burn of some description. Objection! Hear me, I was pondering what this new piffle you would cut out with, and you say, on the victim's wrist. Clearly that's nothing to do whatsoever with the ha magnificent lady's handbag. Yes, that is a burn mark. You're right. Go on, Inspector. The police coroner also noticed it when he was performing the post-mortem examination. It was deemed unrelated to the cause of death, so he didn't note it in his report. Uh. Everyone trying to do their current job, very bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? In any case, we have no idea when the victim suffered this burn, do we? No possible way of knowing either. Um. The more I look at it, the more I find myself intrigued by the curious shape of this mark. It reminds me of a bull of some kind. Perhaps native to the area of Chicago. <laughs> Judge, how do you even know about America slash Chicago? It's this Chicago you speak of. Oh, ouchie, don't you start with me. I know those glasses can see the future. However, as Prosecutor Algy points out, unless a firm connection to the case can be shown, I cannot allow any further time to be spent on the precise details of this burn. I have proof of it, too! We'll Wait, just we do? put another picture while... She says yes. Excuse me, Your Excellency. I think she's late for lunch. It would seem Miss Brett has a lunch appointment with the Dean and other university staff. Yeah. Hang on! Okay. This is what Gantz did! 
This is what Damon Kant did. He did. She would like to know if she may be excused from the stand now. Oh, of course, of course, dear lady. Wish I told you up any longer. Wow, ouchie, I didn't realize you were the judge. <laughs> I'm quite sure his excellency is about to give his final ruling anyway. You don't speak for me. You wore my glasses one time. I'll throw you out this window. I'd like to see you try between my bushy door. <laughs> okay, while well, those two I are fighting, Kazuma, hi! <laughs> those two can be fighting. We'll just the defense will just be working on our our uh, whatever we have to do present now. Good thinking, just ignore them. Yep. What's your thinking on this, Ria Nosetsuke? Do you believe this burn does have something to do with the case? Yes. To be honest, I'm not really sure. But if I don't keep pushing, then it's all over. So I was thinking I should keep digging and digging, in the hope that I might uncover something useful. Yes, you're right. I am? If we can just link the burn to the case. If we can do that, we might be able to prize this shutting door back open again. Give up, Cardinal. You can't possibly hope to do that. I'm afraid that without evidence, I can't allow you to pursue what is little more than conjecture. I have it! But if we had evidence? Evidence that irrefutably linked the burn on the victim's wrist to the case. Then you would allow it? I would, yes. To tell the truth, I hadn't noticed that burn. But as soon as you pointed it out, what I did notice was the color draining from Miss Brett's face. Really? I couldn't tell with the model. She's so pale already. <laughs> really? I have to find some link between that burn and the case. So wait, can we look at the evidence? Yep, if I can. He needs to breathe for a moment. I do too, actually. The moment of truth. Hold on, hold on. Daruto, calm down. He's just, he's super excited. Moment of truth, man. Moment of truth. We got, we got to do it. We oh! Do it. Yeah. That is the same mark that's on the steak plate thing that I noticed. I didn't even notice that the, there was a mark on the steak plate. Uh, that's, a, that's a hot plate. Yeah, it, it is a hot plate indeed. I, I only know that because I used to... Um, one of one of my favorite dishes in Denny's comes in one of those. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like fajita. Yeah. It's probably a fajita. I'm and it's not a fajita, that. it but it is a. Uh, it it comes in one of those on like those hot, those hot one of those plates. oval hot plates on a on a wooden on, on a on a wood board. Yeah, it's time to find some evidence that proves what that burn really means. So then, the defense will now present its evidence to the court. The evidence that demonstrates an inextricable connection between the victim's burn and this trial. But um, my yes. What's this, counsel? Yet another print? Yes, your excellency. I believe photographic prints are an amazing invention. When we humans look at a scene, we miss things. But in a photograph, things we may have overlooked at the time are recorded forevermore. Nice words. You hurry up, rookie. What are you trying to say? The inconvenience this poor lady and her father would really be quite inexcusable. Actually, we may need you to stay with us a little longer, if you don't mind, Miss Brett. You see, it's very clearly visible in the, this other photograph. How did the victim come to have that unusually shaped burn on his wrist? The reason is recorded here forevermore. What? How? Objection! You can't fool me if you're a bluffs, boy! If that's your game, let's see how it plays out. Show the court exactly what you mean. What is in this photograph that explains the reason for the victim's burn? Whoop. Whoop. Yes. Flowers. Flowers? 
The beef stick! Actually, the point is the metal plate the steak was served on. Plate? Ah! Ah! Y your Excellency! Are you alright? As you can see, oh, now it's in color. Nice. There's an emblem on the plate. Oh, that's just making me hungry. <laughs> Thing here. I would guess it's some sort of trademark of La Carnival. Oval. Ah. Surprise! This emblem on the plate. And the victim's burn. Are exactly the same shape. <laughs> that was a proper death slam. Ryunosuke, you genius! You're spot on! Which means... The victim must have suffered this burn while he was present at the restaurant! Rubble, 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 rubble! I'm so terrible! But... But even if that is the case... We can't know if it happened on the day in question or not! It could have been the day before, or the day before that! Or well, maybe the day after that, I don't know. It most likely happened some other unrelated time. Well, uh, hmm. Objection! Thanks. Sadly, Prosecutor Ouchie, the chances of that are extremely slim. Oh, I, I just said that. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Asogi, just chiming in at the right time. The outline of the burn is clearly discernible. Such a serious injury would have caused quite a commotion in the restaurant. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hosanaga? I can't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. I would say, looking at the picture of the wound, that it wasn't suffered very long ago. And although it's not a particularly large, large burn, it's extremely well defined, as the defense just pointed out. This was no mild burn, that's for sure. Can you be more specific, Inspector? Well, let's see. If the plate was at around 90 degrees uh, centigrade, a burn like that would have taken around 3 seconds. Inconceivable that the victim wouldn't have let out a scream of pain then. I've been investigating at the restaurant for several weeks already, but I've not heard anyone scream at all. Really? As the head waiter of Le Carnival, I can testify to that without hesitation. But you! You're a detective, not a waiter! <laughs> I can be two things. <laughs> yes! My moves to a samurai! There well, you have you clearly... it! Continue? No, no, no. Go ahead. Something isn't right here. As the detective said, anyone who burnt themselves on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds would scream in pain. There's no question of that. And yet, Inspector Hosanaga never heard the professor scream. Not on that day or any before it. That's right. And the strange thing is, on the day he was shot, I didn't hear him cry out either. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna trust Naruhoto on this, so... Yep. If he didn't scream... He was already dead. Yeah. What are you, what are you suggesting? <laughs> well, if the professor had carelessly laid his wrist on the plate for anything like three seconds that day... That would be beyond careless, I think, Council. Then the rest of us in the restaurant... Myself, the sergeant, and the old antique stealer. All of us would, without any question, have heard him scream. Wouldn't you agree, Prosecutor Ouchie? <laughs> I suppose. So the question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? I almost don't believe it. Ryunosuke, do you think? Can it really be true? I never dreamt we'd arrive at a conclusion like this, but... I'm starting to think that maybe... We've been led into a terrible trap!
There's only one explanation I can think of to make sense of this apparent impossibility. On the day in question, when he suffered the burn to his wrist, Dr. Wilson hadn't noticed the burn was was asleep. <laughs> Yeah, just 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 sleep the burn off. No, don't 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 do it. Don't, oh my god. <laughs> this is already taking so long, Tyson. No. Lewis, you should have known better. Yes, the professor, with his tendency to nod off. Oh my god. Was asleep when his hand fell onto the piping hot plate and didn't even notice the burn happening. Thanks, Phoenix. <laughs> you didn't know the professor, and yet here you are labeling him as a dim-witted dozer. Huh? How about I hold your wrist on a hot plate, and we see if you can sleep through it? <laughs> Perhaps the screaming you let out will wake you up a bit. Well, it's nice that there's this frankness developing between us, partner. Don't about, call me I'm... partner after coming out with nonsense like that. Uh, oh god, your relationship's in jeopardy. Hang on. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, social, okay, social. You know, okay, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bully you now. Here, let's go put what's, let's, let's <laughs> want to see the modern marvel of indoor plumbing? Let's go. <laughs> God, this is a critical moment. It may very well be our only chance to turn things in our favor. So I just stop lost doing this. I lost social link points. Let's go. So come on, Ryanosuke, you can do it, or rather, you have to do it. You're the only one who can, since I'm not playable. Not in this! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not reading that because that's the same dialogue. There'll be like Great Ace Attorney investigations. No, 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 there's actually, there's actually a DLC that's not in the Chronicles where you play as not, uh, as Kazuma. Oh, okay. Oh, we didn't get that. No, that no, we didn't get those. Which is unfortunate because those two DLCs are really solid. No man could remain silent while his wrist was burning on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds. That's clearly impossible. Apart from in one particular situation. Council, are you suggesting? Yes, it's only possible if the man was already dead. Shindira? <laughs> Shindayu? Knowing what we know now, it's the only possible exonation. When the beef steak oh, wow. was brought to Dr. Wilson's table that day, well, where are you going to wow for? That, that, that Phoenix Wright death slam. Uh-huh. The professor was already dead. You know, I, I, I know. This is... Yes! <laughs> I, 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 no, I, this I, is I, Japan, Ouchi. I need you to get that together. <laughs> Order! I was, I, order! I, I order, wanted, please! I wanted to say, uh, I, since they had to change it from Watson, for, it wouldn't make any sense later, but for this one particular case, they could have called him Dr. Wilhelm. Because he was supposed to scream, but he didn't. Ah! <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yes. Ba -ba -da. That's a joke they missed out on. Council, explain this absurd notion at once! The victim was killed by a gunshot. That's right! That's absolutely right, Your Excellency. This, this is just another ridiculous ploy by the rookie students, but clearly he has no grasp of the fact. Are you sure? Are you sure it's me? No, Prosecutor Archie. It's you who has no grasp of the facts. I beg your pardon? As soon as it became apparent that the victim had suffered that burn while at the restaurant, this whole case was turned upside down. Or have you not grasped that yet? <laughs> Your Excellency, the court must hear from this witness again. If it's true, as we now believe, that the victim was already dead before the gunshot was heard, it's highly likely that Miss Brett knows something about it. Incredible. I certainly didn't anticipate this twist of events. I'm sorry to say, Miss Brett. You're gonna miss that lunch. Oh, wait. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> you will have to forget your luncheon engagement. 
This judge is cool. I'm just saying. Hey, hey but your excellency! I'm sorry, I'm gonna need you to shut up right now. The justice system in our country may be in its infancy. But rest assured, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I am prepared to pass judgment. Thank you, Your Excellency. What, bitch? But what What was that smile? Yes, of course. I mean, I'd be delighted to help. Ma'am! The audacity of this bitch. Especially if it helps relations between my country and yours. Oh, you're pulling that card! Huh? Ah, uh, Miss... Miss Brett, you... You speak Japanese? <laughs> that was the punchline I was waiting for for why God. I did all this. <laughs> well, of course I do. I am studying in your country, after all. Hosonaga is losing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would be too. What, what, what was the point of what? What was the point of being an interpreter? When he realizes his third, when he realizes he's been fired. <laughs> he's fired. When he realizes he be, he's been fired from his third job. <laughs> but then, why have you been speaking through an interpreter until now? My mother tongue, the Queen's English, is the most refined and elegant language in the world. As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking in your vulgar tones as much as possible. Oh. Can I play the clip? <laughs> what clip? <laughs> Remember the clip? That That's racist, yeah! That's racist! That's also why I had it. I... I was doing the translation, and then I finally was just like, oh, and I got to this part, and I was like, oh, this is actually super funny. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what she's been speaking the whole time? That's fine, now Tyce is gonna have to edit that in on the YouTube video. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems the men in this land possess none of the chivalrous virtues of English gentlemen. At least they're so alive. I can see that I shall have to lower myself to communicating with all of you on your own level. Tosunaga looks so upset. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, you are the epitome of a true English gentlewoman. We are truly honored by this, this lavish consideration you graciously afford us. Ouchie, wipe the brown from your nose. I see. In that case, Miss Brett, I will now ask you to testify in your own words. About the events leading up to the death of the victim, Dr. Wilson. So, we're finally going to hear her own words on the matter. Things are getting interesting, Ryanosuke. I don't know about think, interesting, things are just getting more I think stressful. Ryanos I think Ryanosuke would like things to stop, stop getting interesting. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, please! <laughs> I, I like the notion that she learned Japanese, she can speak it Japanese, but is so high off and pretentious that she's like, no, I don't want to speak this language. Why would I ever do that? It's just like, why did you learn it then? <laughs> it's a flex, KV. Yeah. <laughs> it's a flex. The audacity of this bitch. She's probably not Mambo. <laughs> can we call her a Karen? Uh, yeah, I've been tempted. I've Lady been tempted. Karen. Lady Karen. <laughs> Lady Karen. <laughs> okay. she, she is she is English. The victim's death. We are not gonna read the testimony. I'm gonna let it load up, but we're not gonna read it. Because we are out of time. But oh dear god, the music's picked up. Alright then. Alright yep. then. We're we're getting to the juice stuff. Because they're steak. I'm no, don't talk about steak. I'm hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll listen to the audacity of this bitch in the next video. Hopefully, we'll see you guys then. <laughs>